Hello there. A sobering report from the Office for Budget Responsibility has unemployment rising as high as 4 million and tax hikes on the way. Firstly, please subscribe and like this video to give my channel a boost. And I'm always uploading new content, so please do check back daily. The latest report from the Office for Budget Responsibility sets out three scenarios for the economic future of the country. There's an upside scenario, a central scenario and a downside scenario. The upside scenario has the economy rebounding quite quickly to recover its pre-pandemic peak by quarter one of 2021 with no enduring economic scarring. The central scenario has the economy getting to its pre-pandemic peak by the end of 2022, with unemployment and business failures remaining elevated. And in the downside scenario, we're talking about output only getting back to pre-pandemic levels by the third quarter of 2024, along with a significant loss in business investment, more company failures and persistently high unemployment. And in its overview of the report, the OBR says, The UK is on track to record the largest decline in annual GDP for 300 years, with output falling by more than 10% in 2020 in all three scenarios, and contracting by a quarter between February and April. This delivers an unprecedented peacetime rise in borrowing this year to between 13 and 21% of GDP, lifting debt above 100% of GDP in all but the upside scenario. As the economy recovers, the budget deficit falls back, but public debt remains elevated, continuing to rise in the central and downside scenarios. And it says that tax rises as high as 7p in the pound may be required to stabilise the economy. On unemployment, it has the upside scenario showing a lower unemployment figure for 2021 than seen in 2020, with the central scenario indicating half a million more unemployed next year and the downside saying one million more. But I would point out that the UK currently has over 9 million workers furloughed and being paid for by the state. That, to my mind, means they're technically temporarily unemployed but on a very generous dole package. Anyway, I'll leave you to decide for yourself which of those three scenarios is closer to the truth of where we're going. But in this case, I err on the side of pessimism especially as the economy can never recover to anything near previous levels until everyone is able to move, work, mingle and spend as freely as we did until February this year. And with the use of face masks to be made compulsory in shops very soon, I take that as a sign that normality is still some way off. To further indicate where we're going, the Office for National Statistics issued the latest GDP figures today and reports that the latest estimates show that the economy has shrunk by 19.1% in the three months to May. And for most of the first month of that period, March, the UK was not in lockdown. On a month-by-month -month basis, GDP did recover by 1.8% in May. But as you can see from this graph, it is a very small uptick compared to the slicing it's already taken that wiped away all the gains since the credit crunch in 2007-2008 and a lot more. In fact, we're now back to 2001-2002 to 2002 levels. And more. The Evening Standard reports that the country's central economic generator, Central London, is facing huge problems. The Standard says it has undertaken an investigation and found that tens of thousands of jobs and hundreds of businesses are at risk and that alarmed business leaders predict that 50,000 jobs in the vulnerable retail, tourism and hospitality sectors 
could disappear in the West End alone this year, with total spending down by half, a loss of revenue of about £5 billion as a direct result of the coronavirus lockdown. And to give an indication of how much work is being done at the coal face, the Standard reported that the underground has only been at 20% of its normal passenger levels and buses only at 37%. Now the rest may be working at home, but how productively is the question. And while they're at home, they're not in places like Pret spending, are they? And footfall in the West End and Mayfair is reportedly down 74%. These are definitely not indicators of a population eager to get out there to earn and spend, even if they were actually allowed to. Now, it's not going to be what people want to hear while we're still fighting off the pandemic, but all this talk of steep recessions or worst recession in a generation or the deepest recession for a 100 years may just be misleading us all. We are facing a fall of GDP of over 10% this year and a huge swathe of unemployment and reports that the economy might not recover until 2025. Now you can talk about the niceties of words, but we should be clear in our language so we understand exactly what we're facing and what needs to be done. So if this meets the economic definition of a depression, then let's call it a depression and get on with it. Anyway, if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell, or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it. So what do you think about all of this? Please share and comment and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. And thank you very much for watching.